I'm Jean Ilsley Clark, and I'm here to tell you about Susan Clark and her dictionary. I am big time excited about it. First of all, I am a longtime student of transactional analysis. This is one of the many good psychologies in the world, and it is used all over the world. And this magnificent thing that I'm holding in my lap is going to make such a difference to so many people in so many parts of the world because it makes available in an easy to use form a plethora of basic theories, additions to theory, new ideas, old experiences about transactional analysis. Susan calls it a dictionary, but it's not like any dictionary I have ever seen. It's amazing. One of the reasons that I love it, one of the many reasons that I love it, is that it has of course, alphabet, like dictionaries do. And I can go in there and look up a topic. And not only will, does Susan give me the history, uh, well, here, for example, here's about Eric Burns' theory of games. Not only does she give me the history, but she tells me who has made additions and how it's used and all of this is presented in a very concise way. And then her notes are such that for any particular item that I want to, I can go and find the source material and read that for myself. And I love that because very often I come across something in TA and I think, oh, you know, years ago I knew that person. And I wonder if that is what Hedges Capers really said. And then if I look down here, I can find the reference, and I can go and read it. Now, <clears throat> what kind of things will I learn about in here? Well, I'll learn Burns' basic theories, and of course the uh, astounding thing is that so many of his theories have now become a part of our general conversation that it's been lost that he's the person who introduced them. For example, you've heard of people needing strokes. When Eric Byrne introduced that, people said strokes. Is that about golf or heart attacks? <clears throat> You've heard about games, games people play. You've heard about discounting. He dissed me. All of these are things that have come to us through transactional analysis. And said Susan, it needs to be written down. Now, that was 17 years ago. And she has been compiling this wonderful thing and putting it together. And every piece has been checked with the person who wrote it, if they're alive. And she is having people contribute. And one of the things that just thrills me about this is that she's devised the whole thing so that we can add to it all the time. So as you are using this and you find a piece that you want to know more about, or that isn't quite complete, or that you might know something more about, you can contact Susan, and she will make those changes. And she will, after you purchase this amazing thing, make a website available to you where you can keep updated, and where she's saying, go to this item and look at it, because we've got some marvelous new stuff. Hi, my name is Susan Clark and I live in St. Paul, Minnesota and I'm a doctor of chiropractic, which I've been doing that for 25 years. And why I'm making this video today is because I have compiled a dictionary, a reference book on transactional analysis. Um, TA is about communication, it's about families communicating, governments communicating, people communicating essentially creating a world that works for everyone. And I'm really interested in having a world where peace is possible. 
Um, the difference that TA makes is that it's a no shame, no blame way of looking at what is said between people. So my request is that I'm asking you for money to donate to make to help me publish this book to make peace in the world possible now. Thank you.